Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, I'll start off by saying I am, with all due respect, a little shocked with my colleagues' comments or told. Um, to the best of my knowledge, I know that these witnesses weren't consulted earlier. So having said that, uh, I do want to switch to the MPA's uh, opting in, opting out uh, program. It's what I've been zeroing in on because I really feel that it demonstrates the uncertainties with the, the legislation. So my question to you is, uh, the MPA has a, preventing, a prevention granting owners of works on non-scheduled waters the ability to opt out of the MPA regime after five years of it coming into force of the amendments. Do you know of any works that have taken this opportunity? And how, in your view, would navigable waters be threatened by, by work opting out? And Andrea, we'll start with you. Um, I do not know of any examples in Nunatsiwut. Okay. Oh, that's fair. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'm also not aware of any examples um, just in response to your question, but I, I think certainly um, if we're in a position to make written submissions, that, that could be something that we could uh, address uh, in, in those submissions. Okay. Thank you. Uh, and I appreciate that. Kim? Yes, uh, same. Uh, uh, the Congress as well, we're not aware of any uh, examples, and uh, we, we are certainly going to take the opportunity as well to uh, uh, drop uh, any submissions in that, that we, uh, we welcome that opportunity to submit those as well. So, yeah, they'll be, uh, we'll be, be doing a little bit of an uh, investigation process. So thank you for that question. Okay, no problem. I'd appreciate it. Um, I will like to split my time with my colleague. 